day has finally come after months and months and months. We're going to go sailing. <laughs> Angie spent a long seven months on the hard stand. We've completed major repairs, done some major upgrades, had a baby, and now have a beautiful home for our family to continue on our sailing adventures. Let's ease our way back into boat life and head out for our first sail as a family. We need to relearn how to sail Nanji. We want to test out all the equipment and then generally learn how to live on a boat with a baby. trying to drop the anchor. <sighs> when I lifted it up, I just, the chain piled up as it does and made one big pile, but because we've gone through a bit of rough stuff and <sighs> everything else, that big tall pile wasn't properly laid out inside the anchor wheel and now it's all fallen on top of each other and now it's a big tangled mess. So I've only got like 25 meters out. We're in six meters. Um, I just want to try to get all this chain out. We might pick up the anchor and then reset it. to jump on the dummy, wants to sleep, but she really wants to scream at the same time. <laughs> Thank you. You're all right. Just think about those green rooms. <laughs> what green rooms? She's going to get better. Uh -huh. decision about an hour and a half ago to go to the beach and of course when you have a baby um, and other things going on uh, it takes a lot longer to get ready but Tallulah how's she going? She's, She's good. Ready. So Tallulah's never been to the beach. And we've never got off the boat in the water with Tallulah so we've got to figure out how we want to do that and we figure the best way is to put her in the little front pack so then we can easily carry her. I can climb around and then, uh, yeah, we've got a life jacket that we'll put on when we get in the tender, I suppose. I don't know. This is where we're going this time around. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it's a bit sketchy getting on and off, Nanji. There's like a little ladder at the back and then you've got to climb into the tender. So, um, yeah, hopefully this is the best way to do it, but we'll give it a go first. And yeah, so first time to going to the beach um, for us family. for a long time. First time going as a family and yeah. first time, like Tallulah's never been in the ocean before. So this is like a huge milestone, a huge first. And we bring you guys along with us, so welcome aboard. All right. Let's get started. Yeah. Let's go. Okay. All right. Let's do this. Go for it. Take us in, love. the tourists but because of COVID there are no tourists so it's just us floundering around oh there's like a little hut here fresh coconut barbecue it's all boarded up laksa get in good boy good boy what do you think? Are we ready for um, ocean dip for Tallulah or not today? No, she's sleeping. She's sleeping. She's out cold. That tender ride knocked her out. Oh, eh? she loves it in the boba. <laughs> yeah, she's all comfy and snug in there. Oh, there you go. Yeah. There's an otter just with his head poking out of the water. He keeps checking us out. I think he wants to come to land. So. We'll let him go to land, we'll leave him alone. They're pretty rare, it's just like because of because of COVID, like animals are just coming to places where they kind of stayed away from before because the people were there, but yeah, it's cool. You gotta let him come and hang out. My beach, my beach time got cut short, like, you know, never mind Benita having a little relaxing meditation on the beach. This Otto wants to come to land, so off we go. All right. <laughs> Copy. Bit busy in here, mate. Sorry, seat's taken. <laughs> yeah, you blokes are in my spot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good to see you. Yosh and I have been living on Nanji for about four years now and the whole time that we've been on board I've washed our clothes the same way, which is in salt water so um, completely 100% salt water we haven't had any weird reactions to it with our skins or like um, rashes or anything like that 
Josh and I have dealt with that really well. So that's been fine. But now that we have Tallulah on board, she has very sensitive skin. So I don't know how she's going to cope with that. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wash her clothes in salt water and then I'm going to rinse it out with fresh water. So because we have a water maker now, we can use like fresh water a little bit more sparingly. Yeah, we have a water maker, but it still uses up our power resources to make that water. So we still like we're still not just going to treat it like we have a never-ending water supply. Um, it's still going to be used sparingly, um, but we're just going to be a little bit more lenient with it, you know. So that's how we're rolling. But yeah, so I've got all of our clothes here. I've just washed them all up on the deck. And um, now I'm just going to rinse them off in the sink. And then I'm going to do the dishes from this morning that just seem to be magically piling up there. <sighs> Swallowed by this floaty thing. Jacket. Wow, look at you in a life jacket. <laughs> it's pretty it's big. It's pretty good. You ready to go swimming? You ready to go swimming for the first time? Welcome to Salty Life. <laughs> <laughs> See how the jacket yeah. floats. The life jacket that Tallulah's got on, it's designed for offshore sailing. So it's actually an offshore sailing life jacket for kids that weigh five to 10 kilos. And so we ordered the smallest one and then the next size up and we got it from Australia. They're from Stormy Life Jackets, they're out of Tasmania. Uh, we'll give them a plug because, just because I like, I really like this idea and the design of it. And the fact is that when she, if she is to ever fall over, we can just leave it like this and she can lie and her head will stay above water. So she doesn't need to be able to swim, but her head will remain out of the water, which is a big reason why we purchased these life jackets. And I don't know, give them a plug. If you've got kids and you're sailing, stormy life jackets, get on board. It's pretty relaxed, thank you. It's a little game of floating baby. <laughs> Maybe she's not floating this way. Can we? Good girl. There you go. There you go. Get your little frog kick going. Get your frog kick. Kick, 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 kick. Good girl. <laughs> Look at her little smile. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Bye, Good boy. Good boy. Look, little Tallulah sleeping, buddy. I'm so glad we have this. What, Dad? Here we come. Good boy. Good boy. She's propping out. <laughs> Now she's got my hat on just to keep her out of the sun a bit more. Look at you yeah. go again. <laughs> So I've just gone and got my phone just to double check, do a quick little Google to see what a box jellyfish looks like. And I reckon that's a box jellyfish. What you, what's the consequences of touching one of them? Uh, box jellyfish can pretty much kill you. So that really would have ruined my day. <laughs> <laughs> you, you could definitely survive getting stung by box jellyfish, but they're extremely painful. And we're not in a place where you want to get stung by box jellyfish. Um, yeah, well, there you go. Box jellyfish around here. Better be careful. <laughs> so 
But that thing on the left is a plastic container. <laughs> that one on the right, yeah, that's a box jellyfish. Ah, better uh, be a bit more careful when I have my bath in the mornings. It does only say that some species of box jellyfish produce potent venom that can be extremely painful and be fatal. Only some. <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm not playing that game. <laughs> oh man, well that was hectic. I might have to go tell the other two yachts here just to be uh, be a little bit careful if they have a swim. Dad mode. Look, yeah, dad looking mode. Looking after everyone. Better go take care of the kids. <laughs> Even though they're probably all older than me. <laughs>